Hi there, here is Nicola. Welcome to my channel, where we learn about WordPress, HTML and CSS, Bootstrap, and so on. Today, let's start where we left the last time, and I want to show you how to create slideshow or slider with templates in plugin called Smart Slider. Before we start, if you want to support me, subscribe to my channel, and for more fun, smash the bell notification. Let's go. If you click here on Smart Slider, let's go to Smart Slider dashboard. Okay. And there, click on New Project. Here, you, want, you can create a new project or start with a template. Today, let's click on Second option. Of course, you can import your own files, but click on Template. Here is the template sliders. There are categories. For example, full width, full page, carousel, showcase, and so on. Because this is the free version, we are going we are gonna need the free ones, but also you can, can list all of it. Okay, now this is the small preview and how this this slider going to look like. When you hover over, you can uh, preview it or you or you can import it. For example, let's preview this one autoplaying thumbnail slider. And in new tab, you see how this slider looks like. Here is the small bar with images. And this is the transition. Okay. Now let's see another one. For example, see in this one here, free full width slider. This is something similar what we already do in our bootstrap tutorial. You can reach it in top right corner here. Let's preview this one. This is not the full screen, but this full full width slider with controls, with arrows, some text, control uh, call to action button, and this that's here. Okay, and let's see another one. For example, this gradient. Here we have the main picture, some text here, and of course the call to action button, or CTA is short, and the gradient style. You see? Okay, now here you have the free video slider or free layer slider or free thumbnail slider. This one is interesting, for example. This with these four columns here. See? And down there it's more uh, is a short description for each. Okay? Now let's, for example, let's see how you can import and edit this slider. Click on import, of course, let's uh, load it. And here, this is your images. And this is the options for your images, for your slider generally, okay? Now, if you don't know what this option, what these options are, please view our previous video where we also create a full screen slider. We used, I think, a uh, project from scratch. Okay. Now, also you can reach it here. The link will be in this top right corner. Click here on the first slide and click edit. And there you can change the layer here. This text, you can edit your text. If you click, if you click on it and you can type another text, also, you can change this layer. When you hover this, you can change the margin bottom, you see, or the margin top. Also, you can add the max width and the margin here. Also, here on this arrow, you can undo your changes and you can delete uh, this layer or hide it 
or duplicate, hide on desktop, tablet, or mobile. And with these uh, icons here, you can add the text, the image, button, and the row. Those are another layers. Okay, now let's preview our layers for, for example, on tablet. And also here you can change the padding. If you click and drag, you can change the size of this text for, for tablet. If you click here and this in style, you can change the font family, but for responsiveness, let's go to responsive tab and you can change the scaling for your text. You see, you can hide it on large screen, on tablet, on or mobile. This adaptive feature, you can read about it and you can clear your settings. Okay, now let's, if you, when you're done with your changes, click on save. Okay, now let's back one step. Here you can change the order of your slides. For example, if you click on full tree and drag and drop in this position here. Also, when you click uh, not here. Yes, you can click. If you click here, you can copy, duplicate, set as first, and you can also delete it. And on edit, what you can do here, not edit, sorry. This I want to show you. Here you can change the thumbnail for your slider and change the name and area label, of course. Okay, let's go to dashboard. And if you want to delete your a slider, click here on three dots and move to trash. Let's create another project and start with template and choose feature slider, for example. Let's preview, preview first. See how it is looks like. It is very nice. For example, if you have any uh, application or something like this and you want to to set your feature, you can type it in this kind of slider. Okay, let's import it. Let's wait to load it. Let's edit our slides. Okay, now you can change the, for example, this row to change the width, text align. In style, you can change the background color. Here in this layer, you can change the icon. You see, this is the icon and this is the options. Okay. Also, you can preview, it, preview in uh, smaller screen sizes. And when you make some uh, changes, for example, let's change the text color. Let's put the green shade. Click here on this eye to preview without publishing. And now, this is your changes. And where you're done with your with editing your slides and changing your images, uh, don't forget, uh, for example, if the size of your slider is 1200 with 600, make your images to fit in pixel this size. Okay, now when we are done with changes, you can place your slider if you click, if you uh, copy this short code or this PHP code if you want to include this code in your team's files. But for example, let's go to our pages. And let's edit this page from previous tutorial. I already add the block with slider, but let's remove this block and add it again, this smart slider. Here, select slider and choose our demo insert. And this is our slider. Let's click on preview and click on preview 
a new tab. And this is how our slider looks like now. Okay, guys, let's leave this page. This is all for today's video. If you want to support me, my work, my channel, please subscribe, like video, ask me or make suggestion or comment my videos if you have any questions. Thank you for watching me and see you in another episode. Bye-bye.